Hi, this is Dubina Ahmed from Khalish Times and we are here in one of UAE's indoor vertical farms which is changing the face of agriculture in a desert area. Let's have a quick tour and hear from the management on how crops are grown in a temperature and light controlled environment. Imagine an ultra-modern, high-tech farm right in the middle of a desert where fresh vegetables are grown without soil or sunlight. Located on a 3,000 square meter plot of land, this sprawling indoor facility in Al Quds started just in 2019. We grow lettuce seeds and mustards and various different plants for the taste, for the colours, for the textures. It enhances the flavours and that's the way of modern farming. We control the temperature, the humidity, CO2 levels, so everything is predictable. We don't waste any energy, we don't waste any food, all of the water is recycled. Let me just speak a bit about how agriculture has progressed. It went from field farming to greenhouses, but both of these models still require some kind of uh, aid from, from, from nature. The Middle East is challenged in terms of the weather. It's hot, humid and there's scarcity of water. Vertical farming on the other hand uh, is a model which can be used anywhere in the world. It is uh, resource efficient, the climate is perfectly controlled, we have perfect insulation. They follow the regular three stages of farming to grow crops. First you'll start with the seeding stage, uh, that's where we are much more efficient because we put one seed per one plug. Then it moves on into the nursery stage where the seed grows into a small baby plant and that is then I'm ready for transplanting. In order to simulate nature's light, they have even installed energy saving LED spectrums which have different biological effects on the plant. For example, red plant elongates the plant, a blue plant would make a plant more squat and thick. Green plants would aid in the uh, health of the plant. Agriculture requires significant water to grow crops. Approximately 60% of it is wasted. But vertical farming has a solution to this too. With hydroponics, it kind of uh, it, it feeds the root and then drains out into a tank and then goes into a circular system where, where the water keeps getting reused and, and that's how we save the 90%. And the final stage is the growing stage which then harvests, which then would then be harvested and then it would be processed and packed into, into um, some of our beautiful packets like this. COVID-19 has refocused attention on the need for local produce to be safe, sustainable and localised. This also was seen with consumer trends. Actually 15% of local consumers tend to be consuming more local food now as compared to pre-COVID times. So it's safe for the consumer and it was highlighted with the Corona-19 virus, the need for local produce to be safe, to be sustainable.